hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Sada here with another video so i did this youtube reel and a lot of people asked me about the recipe on how i did this cauliflower fried rice so i thought i'd put it up on my youtube channel so you guys can see what i did so basically i just removed the heads of the cauliflower and i put them in my food processor um, i'm using a food processor to grate the cauliflower but you can use any traditional grater i prefer using this because i don't want to grate my fingers and it's much faster for me but yeah any traditional grater can do the trick so what i did after that is i take the grated cauliflower and i put it on a pan the pan is dry and has nothing at all so i just want to like kind of like stir fry it in this pan because cauliflower has a tendency to kind of release some fluids and i don't want it to be so watery when i do my fried rice so this kind of helps it like dry up a little bit more before i mix it up with the veggies next i just take a pan the same pan as you can see it's a little bit dirty it's the same pan i've just added some oil in there and next i'm just going to add in a tablespoon of uh, tomato paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste and i'm just gonna like let this heat up for a little bit before i go ahead and add in my onions so together with the onions i've chopped up um just a little bit of chili these are two chilies i've just chopped them up and i've added them in i've i like a little bit of heat in my fried rice or in my food generally so i'm just gonna add this up and mix it all up so you're just gonna go ahead and let this stir fry for a little bit um mix it up so all the ingredients kind of you know combine together um as it kind of like caramelizes um but basically any fried rice you can just find any vegetables you have in the fridge and just chunk them in it's pretty simple and that's the same thing i'm do gonna do here today i have some frozen veggies in the in the freezer i just took them out defrost them a little bit and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna chunk those in i'm making sure that the ice is not gonna go in so i'm just gonna chunk my frozen veggies mix that up as well and any other veggies that i have you know leftovers in the fridge just put them all in and spice it up okay so here i'm adding my vic mixed veggies um guys i didn't have any measurements because like i said i usually just get every kind of like leftover veggies i have in the fridge and chunk them in you know what i mean it's like uh yeah just simply like that so if you have any other vegetables that you like to have in your fried rice go ahead and dump it in okay so i usually like to add in a little bit of maggi seasoning uh or so i'm using maggi seasoning in there because i want my vegetables to have a little bit of a taste before i add in the other ingredients okay over here i'm gonna add in some oyster sauce i absolutely love oyster sauce in many of my stir fried rices um if you have a little bit of soy sauce you can add that in but i just finished my soy sauce so oyster sauce was more than enough especially because i had some tomato paste in there already and a little bit of maggi was more than enough so i'm just gonna stir fry this i've added in some bell peppers as well a green yellow and a red one i just love the combination and the flavors that those red peppers just bring out absolutely amazing so i'm just gonna let this stir fry for a little bit i want the peppers to kind of like soften up a little bit bring out that aroma but i don't want them to like overcook and then i can't see them in my food um i've also added a little bit of black pepper because i like my heat in my food i'm just gonna fry that up for a little bit and then lastly i'm just gonna add in my cauliflower okay i forgot to mention this i had some chicken as well in the fridge and what i did is basically i just chunked those in in there and there were like a uh, boneless chicken breast that was already stir fried a few days ago i used it in a salad um so i had this left and i just put them in but if you have any uh chicken you can also chunk them in but chunk them in earlier right after the tomato paste because chicken has a tendency to release a, uh, redu I mean, release a lot more water so you don't want to have so much water in your fried rice it won't be fried rice it'll be boiled rice or something <laughs> so yeah my veggies look good to go over here and i'm just about to turn off the heat and before i did that i added in my cauliflower because i had previously 
already stir fried it so it was already kind of cooked um basically now i just want to mix all the flavors incorporate it in the dish make sure that my fried rice um tastes good all the flavors are mixed up and guys yeah basically that's it there isn't much left it's super easy super simple and this is so keto friendly like you can eat this i, I usually have this on weekdays um because i don't want to have carbs especially with this lockdown we i have no movement around the house so as i work from home it's the easiest way for me to cut down carbs have a nice healthy lunch and it absolutely tastes amazing you won't even feel like you're eating cauliflower rice you'd feel like it's just any other rice dish anyways i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and you try it out if you do like it please let me know in the comment section below what you think and if you'd recommend it to anyone else please keep sharing these videos and i will see you in the next video bye hi hi everyone my name is sarah and today my mom's cooking show is amazing and i love the food Ooh. and this mom wants to say hi also this mom say hi hi i can watch the dinner <laughs> 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 yeah they were trying to be quiet during the voiceover they did quite well though bye bye, bye. bye.